hello, Flimsy Lunch Tray here with you today with a rather fun battle back in the Massachusetts and random match uh, in the map north in standard battle. So, this is um, a battle that I, <laughs> I really enjoyed um, and it has further helped me to understand some more things about the Massachusetts as my playstyle continues to. I don't know, I get more. Massachusetts is, as in last week's video, um, you know, she's the ship that I feel the most confident in. She's the ship that I feel the most safe with. And, and in that process, I'm continuing to figure out how to best play her. So I think in this battle, hopefully, maybe some of that has come to fruition and maybe we'll see some of that. So, uh, and looking at the matchmaking, we are actually uh, top tier. Uh, well, wow. <laughs> it doesn't happen all the time, so that's uh, quite nice. I mean, it's preferred when, of course, uh, that matchmaking has you all same tier, but in this case, that's not the case. So, um, and we get to see the lineup here, what's going on with the enemy team. We have three destroyers, uh, we have three cruisers, uh, and was that four battleships? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five battleships and a German tier six carrier, the, the Wesser, which is going to be too much of a hassle. Uh, so I'm going to turn in here a little bit to help with this Fiji, to help protect him uh, from the Wesser's uh, armor piercing rockets. And the Fiji turned away just at the right time, so good on him, as he did good not to take more damage there. Now, um,. Actually, the first thing I do when I'm looking and starting off before I pay attention to what ships are at the enemy team and looking at the, the pressing the tab uh, to see what's going on here is uh, map location. Uh, I really like to know where I'm spawning at on the map, and that and that will alt affect my decision. Is that how I want to say that? Uh, and learning this in a region, I'm just forgetting English words. <laughs> Um, so, uh, as you can see, um, I'm moving up here, we start off at the center, and the Massachusetts, in my opinion, and how I've played her, and when I have great battles like how this one will turn out to be, it usually happens when I'm playing in the center of the map, or at least with island cover, um, in that sense. Um, the Massachusetts isn't a ship, you know, if we look down here on the map, uh, she's not, in my opinion, she's not really a ship that's just made to flank far out, we don't have a lot of island coverage, um, it's easy to get torpedoed. Um, I mean, granted, you have your secondary uh, build, which I have the 11.3 uh, set up in manual uh, secondaries. Um, I just, I struggle, because you're just, you're out in the open, you can't just pop in and out of cover and take advantage of the Massachusetts, uh, her dispersion at further range is not the best. Like, I don't even bother taking the spider plane, um, I just take the fighter plane consumable just to, to help me not just snipe from 20 kilometers away, but actually push in um, and use that as an 18.1 uh, firing range. So, because of that, for me when I'm in the Massachusetts, um, of course she's a brawling battleship, but playing in the center of the map, so I'm close to... You know, I can take shots off on these guys. If someone pushes up here, which you'll see shortly, I can take advantage of this. So I, I'm in I position to punish. Now I'm a little concerned that there's a destroyer up here in the center cap. And just notice I'm not, I'm not rushing in. Like I'm just, I'm trying to get a feel for what's going here in the center cap and get some intel before I make a decision um, in pushing up. And as when the enemy Massachusetts pops up here. Uh, broadside onto me, so we'll see what this salvo does at 12 kilometers away. <laughs> uh, 34,000 in two citadels. Um, so yeah, so we slapped him pretty hard, and he's just uh, kilometer outside my secondary range. So I'm being mindful. He's he's still not looking at me because I just don't want to get slapped. Maybe the key's looking at me. I'm not sure. So we're gonna go and see if we can't finish him off. And that's when the, the gate uh, pops up behind me. 
And uh, Massachusetts goes down uh, on the enemy team at the same time as their Vladivostok does. So there, there are two battleships out now. Um, and that's when I noticed this Fiji. Um, he's sitting in that narrow channel um, between those two islands. And I'm wondering, is he going to back out? What's what's he going? What's his play here? What is he thinking? Um, so I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to focus on this Fiji. Now I see smoke accumulating, and I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it. And I'm wondering, is he backing out while smoking up? Let's see. Yeah. So you can see the smoke's going backwards. Now the Fiji has poor propulsion uh, to stop, um, to go backwards or forwards. Like if you go to stop, it just takes forever to stop. So I'm wondering, is he going to slide out of the smoke screen? He's probably torpedoing right now, because priority target is kicking off and on. One, zero, one detected, one detected. And uh, I'm going to keep my front guns uh, focused on this smoke screen here. Because I think he might pop out. Yep, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what this does. Now pay attention to the camouflage. See how it's, uh, the camouflage he has, it's red in that one zone, then black the rest of the ship? Uh, I'll come back to that here in just a minute, but keep in, keep in mind that how that camouflage pattern is on the hull of the ship. So I'm uh, expecting torpedoes. Yep, torpedoes there they are. So I'm angling off to the torpedoes left. To and uh, I... I Type in chat, did you back out a little farther, buddy? <laughs> uh, the Fiji just, she doesn't stop well. So we get a shots off on the Colorado here. One tier up. A nice little 8,600 chunk there. Um, and that is when uh, he responds that he's, he's okay. <laughs> so we'll see how you are here in a minute. Um... So I'm typing back in chat, good to hear. So it's nice to have that camaraderie. Um, we're not just being toxic player, so on and so forth. Now I do notice that I'm RPF located and I'm pretty sure it is not from the Fiji. Um, I think it's from uh, the Mayan or another destroyer. But, um, so I decide, you know what? Who says that he might not back out twice in a row? He did it the first time, would he do it a second time? Now again, pay attention to the camouflage on the hull of the ship and I'll tell you why I'm telling you that. <laughs> there he is. Oof. Gone. <laughs> so that's going to put us up to five citadels. Now, I shared a trim of this clip uh, in a Facebook group um, of me dealing with this Fiji just because I thought it was really funny and enjoyed it. And uh, a guy commented that he's he said, uh, I can't remember how I exactly phrased it, he's like, you're running a mod to see the weak points on ships? Wow. And I was like, what is he talking about? Like, the Fiji is just such a squishy ship. You basically aim anywhere on the hull. You're pretty much guaranteed to hurt it pretty bad, especially when you're in the Massachusetts. And um, I was like, uh, what kind of bogus claim is that there? <laughs> and responding to this guy on Facebook, uh, and another guy stepped in. And he said, are you talking about the camouflage on the ship? <laughs> and, so, and I was like, uh laughing and then I commented I was like is this true uh, such and such name uh, and to which she responded oh you're right <laughs> you thought the camouflage was a mod <laughs> no <laughs> um, so yeah so that was fun so you notice that uh, I was not fast coming out of this channel here this Colorado I, didn't, I was detected, I didn't know if he was going to have his guns, try to swing them all around and aim them at me, so I just wasn't uh, pulling out guns blazing. But we did a pretty good chunk of getting 15,000 damage to him. Secondaries are cheering him up. And I slow down, uh, because I don't really want to get closer to him, because I want to finish him off, because I think he may be thinking about ramming me. So, uh, I want to keep a distance. I have a teammate yelling at me to get back. I'm not sure what that's about, and then I realize he's uh, it's because he's fired torpedoes at the Colorado, and they're they're inbound. Now, this is something I didn't understand for a while. Um, like if you look at the health uh, HP pool of my Massachusetts, you can see that there is uh, several thousand HP. I could probably be back over 55,000 if I healed right now. It was like, hey, why aren't you using a healer right now? Um, and that is because of 
the adrenaline rush. So the lower your HP is, uh, the faster your reload is. So I'm not bothered right now to use it. Um, I want to have a faster reload, so I'm not going to heal. Now in the meantime, I'm going to be talking about... <laughs> uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be talking about that. You've seen that the enemy carrier has spawned a broadside on. Detected, he's just been punished significantly. And he's still sitting still. <laughs> So when it comes to team taking shots at the Surrey or him, I I'm going to go for the CV every time, even though he's got tier 6 aircraft. And we get high caliber. <laughs> and another citadel. So up to 8 citadels. I don't, I really don't typically get that many citadels in the Massachusetts, but I guess that's what happens when you are uh, top tier. So I'm encouraging my team, keep it together. Uh, we got this. Um, there is always the potential for your team to throw. So I'm just just encouraging them. I'm having a good time. Wanted to keep going. <laughs> I don't want this uh, kill uh, best to end too soon. So I do one thing wrong here. I think I do it here. I need intelligence data. We'll see. No, maybe it's not yet. Um, well, I want intelligence data, I want to know this Akatsuki is, because I'm pretty sure the Akatsuki is probably lining up towards somewhere right now. And I'm also concerned that the Mayhan is also lining up towards somewhere right now. He hasn't been spotted for a while. Um, and so I'm just going to let this fire burn out. I don't want to just spam the repair party when there's potentially two destroyers around. Um, and that's when this key uh, begins to turn broadside. And I go ahead and pop my repair party because I want my front gun, because I want to get a broadside. And this is when I cannot get my main guns to fire. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. This has happened to me twice now, or three times, and I can't get the gun to shoot. And I get the secondaries at least fired, and then my rear turret finally fires after I click shift and Problem out. Solved, um, so then I get a shot off on the key. Now, I'm in a really bad spot because the Mayhan's here, I'm sure he's got torps on the way. The Akatsuki is on my left, I'm sure he's got torps on the way. So I decide I'm going to move up, I want to get this island, um, I want to hug this island up here. Because one, I want to be face on with these torpedoes, and then these torpedoes on my left, I'm pretty sure that he fired them when I was sitting still, so that is why I end up sharing side in this way. So we're going to eat one torpedo, not, not too much damage. Eh, be nice to have more damage on the key. But know how I'm, I'm slowing target. down here. Um, the Arizona's up there on the left. I really don't want to pull out showing uh, too much side to him. So this key is just sitting still, showing me broadside. Um, and so take a carefully measured shot. What do we do here? <laughs> Every one of those... Uh, shells misses at 10 kilometers away. <sighs> now, I originally thought, I was like, well, maybe I aim too low at the waterline, but I don't think I really aim that close to the waterline, so I aim a little higher up uh, on the upper uh, hull of the ship. The Arizona did get some shots in on me, but the island uh, covered most of those. Yeah, 4,000 on a broadside at 10 kilometers away. Would have been nice to have done a little more there. But he's about to go down. And to get rid of him. Oh, and I also missed that we got Confederate too. And uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, and that's when Akatsuki shows up again. I'm hoping this might be my Kraken Unleashed. Uh, let's see what happens here. Nope. Okay, now I'm gonna sh I should start nosing into the left here because the Arizona is still looking at me. Um, really want to get rid of him. And I need to change my manual secondaries to him. I've not done that yet. Uh, and I'm asking my team if I can get my Kraken. And I also want to turn it to the left because I was pretty sure that Akatsuki dumped torpedoes on me. So I was holding my shot, waiting to see if he was going to delete the Arizona. And he's starting to heal. And we kill him. So that brings the battle to a conclusion. <laughs> I wasn't done with the devastation yet. I wanted to keep going, so... Uh, right when we took that torpedo on the bow, um, I was shocked that the battle ended. I wanted to keep going. So, uh, we did really good. Um, 
again, we are top tier uh, in this match, but hey, um, that's not my fault. That's Wargaming's fault, so I'm going to take advantage of that in the Massachusetts. Um, so we did 192,000 damage, which is really good. Um, I think I've done a little bit more damage in the Massachusetts. I think the record for my mass is like 194,000, but I, I could be wrong. Um, so that's really good. Uh, we have five destroyed, four set on fire, eight citadels, uh, 93 secondary hits. And we had a special credit flag mounted um, because the Massachusetts being a premier ship is really good to utilize those flags with. Um, we got over a million credits, uh, 6,000 experience, and over almost 3,000 free experience in getting Devastating Strike, uh, Confederate, Dreadnought, Kraken Unleashed, and High Caliber. So I was actually surprised out of all those kills that um, none of those were course, close quarters, which we almost had a close quarters uh, on the key, um, I believe it was. So top of the team uh, with 2,465 base experience, which is really good. Uh, we can see that <laughs> uh, we just smoked all the damage we could out of that Wesser. So for 41,000, you see this Colorado, Fiji. Okay, no, we did get the key. Just wasn't it was with fire, I think is that that's how we killed him. Um, got the Arizona, and we blapped that Massachusetts. Uh, really good for those two citadels when he was broadside to us. At was that that was like 12 kilometers away, and then all my shots miss at the key on 10 kilometers away. RNG, what can I tell you? Uh, there's the the Surrey, Akatsuki, the Vladivostok, and the Mayhan. So we we touched a, a lot of <laughs> enemy ships in this match. And you can see, uh, all said and done, that our profit was still over, just barely over one million credits. Uh, so that was really good. Yeah. So all in all, uh, a really great match. Um, I really enjoy the Massachusetts. Um, and she is a ship that, I kind of, as I said in the beginning of the match, as I continue to discover her playstyle, um, she just she's really good at just brawling um, in like the middle. Um, because you can really take advantage of that, just because she's not the most accurate battleship at range. You know, the North Carolina has improved accuracy and dispersion uh, in comparison to the Massachusetts. Um, but the Massachusetts, you can take advantage of her, her secondaries and 40 second uh, fuel cooldown. So, great match. So, if you liked today's battle, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have already subscribed, thanks so much as we continue to produce content here uh, on my YouTube channel. So, until next time, take care.